welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. Money is a little low and uh, I want to bring in some more money. We do have a little bit that we, we are going to get from the BGA but I'm um, thinking all of the silage bells that we currently do have sat around uh, I am just going to try and get them all sold to the BGA so we do get a fair amount of money at uh, 12 o'clock so we are taking the old JCB over to the uh, the BGA then we're going to get our big uh, the semi in the semi trailer and we'll just try and if we can uh, get all of the uh, the bales uh, sold to the BGA it's going to take a bit of time because I believe you can only uh, fill the BGA with uh, 50,000 litres I believe something like that so uh, we are just gonna have to like constantly stack all the bales at the BJ and then just use this thing to uh, hopefully get them all sold in time hopefully the uh, the area around the BJ is uh, a little bit better than uh, over the farms because uh, uh, the old hitbox can be uh, a bit poor on some BGAs so uh, get this over there then get the semi get that loaded up uh, it is an auto load trailer so I don't really need to worry about picking them up with this thing it's just it's going to be a, a bit of a pain with uh, how many bales we're going to have so this thing's definitely going to be uh, a valuable member when we get over there so what I'll do is I'll get this over to the BGA and I'll see you when we are on uh, our way back to the BGA with a full trailer load of uh, signage bales. It's going to be exciting to see how much we get at 12 o'clock if we can manage to get them all sold. Okay, so got a full load of bales. They're all on, nice and ready. Did uh, kind of mess up the other bales, have like fallen all over the place. But is what it is. Need to get these bales over there before it gets too dark. Don't really want to be doing everything in the dark. Just makes life a heck of a lot harder. Also, after I've done that, I do need to buy a spreader. I do want to get some lime put on these fields because uh, I am now. After I've uh, sold these, I am going to be putting on that you need to do a lime and also uh, weeds as well but uh, when I first started off with FS19 I was getting so many problems with weeds nothing I was using was getting rid of them uh, I don't know if it was just uh, an error or there was literally something wrong with the weeds I have no idea but no matter what implement I brought uh, it the weeds just did not go. I could spray them, I could use a weeder, they just didn't go. So we'll just have to see how that goes, but we will be putting on that you do need to put lime on your fields, so uh, make it a bit more realistic and uh, like I said, possibly looking at uh, weeds as well. But all depends on funds don't even think, jeez, oh, that was close, had I not pulled on that grass, yeah, you know that would have hit me, so let's uh, get over to the BJ, get this unloaded, and get the old JCB on, uh, on it, so uh, get it on, I would say unloaded, but it's auto unload, but we'll still need to pick them up with the old JCB and put them in, Oh wow, that car's a lot closer than I expected. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jiggle over. There we go. They're still trying to get used to uh, this in cab stuff. You can wait there. Um, uh, that field looks really nice. And uh, our two new, newly brought fields, I can't wait till they're ready. Uh, it'd be nice to get something in them. We do still have the Capello at the store, which is over there. I need to get that over to the farm. 
definitely going to be beneficial having that. Uh, we do have two harvesters and only one capello header, so hmm. I'm not sure. Right, so let's get this unloaded. I'm try and remember the buttons. Uh, is it that? One, that? There we go. This should be it. Pop them there. And there we are. Alright. <laughs> so the max capacity of this is 50,000. It can churn at a time. So, 4, 8, 12, 24, that's just 24,000 in 6. So, 24, 48. Okay, so 12. So, let's uh, get this party started. Let's get these picked up. Get these put in here and uh, start making some uh, good money. Oh, the articulation of this. I'll try and get it where it literally just. It's the bottom and they all slide in or not. Let's do that then. So has that taken them all? Four, eight, twelve. Yes it did. Alright. Well that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be an absolute nightmare trying to get these uh, loaded in. But uh, it doesn't seem to be too bad at the moment. The old JCB, big, powerful, can get it done. That's it, just wanted to be slid on a little bit more. How much is that? 24. Okay, let's continue getting these put in. There we are. Don't fall. Oh, that's gonna. Yeah, alright, alright. So I'm making an absolute hash of this at the minute. Thirty-five. Okay. Let's grab that. Let's that put it at thirty-eight. be a fair amount of bales here. Plus we do have another four trailer and uh, just under a, uh, a full trailer load still at the farm. Just try and shimmy these out of the way. There we go. These two should be enough just to load the churn down. There we are. Hmm. So is it still counting that it went over or is that going to go down? <laughs> hmm. I'm hoping that it has accounted 
for the little extra that I put in. I'm hoping. Right, let's get back in here. down at the minute now yes it is okay right so get the semi again and uh, head back over to the farm um, actually I'll uh, would it be worth restacking these There we go, that's sorted. So that's done that. Right, head back over to the farm. And uh, pick all the other bales up. And obviously give that to churn away what's been done. So I'll see you back over here. Hopefully when we've got all of the bales over here. And uh, we'll get a load to hold. Okay, so this is the last load that we have at the farm uh, to be taken over to the BGA. Uh, I've already took over another load and then there's just this one left. And I really do need to get that back at the farm. Keep forgetting. Uh, the last lot I took here, I actually got stuck here for some reason. I don't know what happened. So I had to reset the truck and drive the truck all the way back. <laughs> Just could not get it out. But, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, what should we pull? I think that will do. Pop that down there. There we go. Then we'll just pull this in one of these bunkers for now out of the way. Right. Let's get to it. How far down has this gone after two trips? Mm, not that far. Hmm. Okay, right. Well. Yeah, well, give me time to load the two anyway. Let's get this did up. Let's get loading. Get on the forks. There we are. It might be worth us uh, speeding up time a little bit, um, just to try and get it done. Let's speed up time. There we go. Let's get carried on. Because I don't want to be doing this during the dark, but I think I might not have a choice. get this loaded and get the money. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of these loaded in and uh, hopefully it's not too late. It's going to take a fair bit of time to get this done. So I'll see you all when I am on the last little couple. Okay, so it is 11.58. I didn't manage to get all of it in. Uh... But I do want to try and get some of these in, so just before. There we go. That's uh, got that full. So I'll turn those lights off. 
So all we have left is four bales there, and then uh, the bales here. Uh, six, twelve, eighteen. Twenty-two bales left. So after twelve, uh, I'll get all these bales put in, and that will go to uh, tomorrow's twelve o'clock. So we'll be expecting some money then as well. Hopefully we do get a, a decent amount of money. Will be nice. So that, got that. I do need to look at fertilizer spreaders that uh, spread lime. I do want to get a coat of lime on the uh, 34 and also 42. Want to get lime spread on those. Uh, just to improve the yield so oh, get down just depends on the price of them uh, what's the uh, you know we have to be realistic with how much money I've got don't want to spend it all on a fertilizer or fertilizer spreader so come on 12 o'clock what do we get step away from a hundred and ten thousand four hundred and thirteen dollars. Wow, that is that is actually a lot more than I thought I would get. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I get the rest of this all put in, and then I'll see you in the morning and we'll look at fertilizer spreaders. Well, it's 6.56 in the morning and had a really good payday. I definitely didn't expect to get that much <coughs> from the BGA, but I also have to take into account that we did uh, sell some silage previously as well before those bales. And now we are also expecting a, uh, a payout after 12 o'clock today as well. So it's not going to be a lot. You know, we did work out how many bales it was, but uh, what we're doing now is we are on our way to the store. I want to get a cheap, as you like, uh, fertilizer spreader, one that does lime. I do want to get lime in uh, field 29 and 42, and as soon as uh, all the rest of the fields are harvested, I want to get those limed as well. Uh. Oh, the books. You can w Are you serious? Oh dear. That's a lot glare from them being right up my behind. Look at that. Get out of it. Right, let's do that. That's the glare is just going to drive me crazy. And again, I keep forgetting I need to get that Capello over to the store. Possibly look at doing a corn harvest. Uh, that might bring in a nice little bit of money. But uh, yeah, let's see what I got. Alright, so fertilizer technology. Well, a pretty decent one, but we don't want one that's overly big. So 39,000 for 14,000 litre capacity, 12 metre spread. Hmm. Do want to make sure it does line though. This one does line, but I know it holds 3,000. Uh, I, that's not bad. The Amazon Z B uh, Z G B fifty five hundred and the eighty two hundred. What's the difference capacity? Okay, uh, wheel setups. That's a twenty meter spread width. That's actually pretty big, and I've never had this thing. That's not too shabby. Um, 24 grand though, you get 8,000 litres. 
And that's a lot cheaper. Hmm. We've got 1,600. Yeah, they're just going to be too small. Um, do we want a trailed one or do we want one that you can literally just connect to the back? Hmm. I think we'll go for this. The ABC Bronze Machine Fabric. I've never heard of this. I don't think I've ever used this. It's got a 24 metre spread on it. I mean, it's capable of doing the job. Uh, trailer box or Michelin. Well, I trailer box. I'll leave it as is. No price differences there. No. Okay, so there we go, we've got that. And 8,000 capacity, so we need to buy fertilizer. So there's fertilizer there for 4,000, but I believe there is some cheaper. Here we go. So let's just get a couple of these. Fertilizer. A couple of lime. Thinking about it, I don't really know why I brought the fertilizer. <laughs> Didn't really need it. it. Was lime in our fields? All right, so we need to get this connected, uh, get the lime in it, and uh, get over to the farm. And uh, yeah, definitely need to get that over to the farm as well. I keep forgetting about it. Alright, so, let's get this bad boy connected, get lime in it, and get both of those fields limed. There we are, let's do that. Let's get over to the lime. Get it filled up. That's really nice uh, fertilizer spreader there. Really nice. I'm really happy with that. I've never heard of that make. Bronze, bronze. I don't know. Really nice though. Right, let's carry on. Get this fill. Get this fill. Get this full. Honestly, I am English. I'll get there in the end. Not far off full now. Could always buy two of these, sort of thing. You know, I've got one for lime, one for fertilizer. Well, it just seems a bit pointless at the moment. We'll just keep what we've got. Right, so we've got that full. What I'm going to do now is head over to our biggest fields. <coughs> um, well, our biggest field at the minute that is bare. Oh, oh, oh! Field 21 is ready to harvest. Field 41 is ready to harvest. Field 27 is ready to harvest. Okay, so the wheat is ready in 41. Uh, the sunflowers are ready in 21, and the barley is ready in 27. That's it. So we, we need to get on that as well. But what I meant to do was uh, go on to here. Field 42 and 29. Oh, they need ploughing as well. So I we could chuck some lime on them. And, uh... You made your need of lime there. So after we've harvested 41 as well, and then 32, and uh, obviously 27 and 21, we'll, we'll just chuck a bit of lime on them. But it's going to be a very big job, so I'll get over to 42 and I'll see you at the field. Alright, so we're almost at the field now. I'm just going to get the headland done and then, uh, 
Yes, let's get this field done. It needs doing. It's in major need of it. I don't want to mm, get long on anyone else's field. So. There we are, open the slide door. And there we are. How big's this spread? Not that big, still. Not that bad. I'm actually really impressed with this uh, spreader. Plus it gives us the opportunity to, you know, get rid of the really expensive uh, sprayer. That will definitely bring us some money in. Is it handy with all these big fields? Yes. Is it cost efficient? I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think the sprayer is cost efficient? compared to uh, solid fertiliser. I don't think it is, but, you know, would it be handy to have the sprayer? Of course it would, but uh, it costs a lot of money. Mr. Peace, I'm not having that. No, 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 no. Why is it always harder to uh, reverse these smaller things rather than the bigger ones? Doing so well, and then all of a sudden, boom. There you go. Right, let's get there. That's it. There we go. So, get all this limed. It is going to take a long while. It's 7.10 now. It's going to take a fair bit of time to get this done, that's for sure. But, the field needs lime. Got to get it limed. I want to in, uh, improve our yield. I have now put lime on, which is why we have uh, now set to getting lime on our fields. So periodic ploughing is on. So after every third harvest, we will need to plow. So yeah, that's going to be fun. So not the next harvest on this field. Um, but, uh, I, actually, I think it's after the next harvest of this, we have to plow this field. And it is really nice to see that beautiful wheat on that field there. Okay, oh, missing parts. I'm missing parts. I'm not having that. Come on. Mr. P, sort yourself out. Get this field done properly. If you're going to do it, get it done properly. There we go. There we are. Nice and even. I want to get all of this field done if I can. I don't want those little edgy bitches. Bit little edgy bits apparently I can't talk so uh, what do you think we should put in these fields uh, I am thinking corn you know if we're going to be looking at getting pigs at some point we're going to need corn uh, just have to put my lights on just so I can see where I'm going but, uh, yeah, I think corn would be really good for this field. It's fairly big. We do have the other two little fields, and we do now have the capello, so we can um, hunt that type of crop, which will be really good. I really don't often do corn, so uh, it would be a nice change. I normally just do, you know, like the basic crops, uh, uh, wheat, barley, soybean, canola, I normally try and stick to those. Yeah, I was watching a, a bit of Millennial Farmer last night, and he mainly does uh, corn. Uh, he has done a bit of soybean, I think. I'm sure he has. Um, yeah, but, yeah, I think putting a bit of corn in this field won't hurt. I can't remember if our seed uh, uh, does corn. If not, we'll have to look at those. Turn the lights off now, we don't need it on. Uh, so yeah, we can look at getting that done. Uh, so I need to check on the horses, see how they're getting on. This lime is actually going a fair way from this spreader. I'm really impressed, but it did have a pretty big capacity. Um, thinking about it, do we have lime at the farm that you can buy? I think you do. Uh, let's just have a quick look. I think we do have...
uh, lime station. Well, that's at the farm, look, and I went all the way to the... Well, it was at the store anyway, so it didn't really hurt anything, so... And as soon as we went out of line, just nip back to the farm. So, as I said, it is going to take a fair bit of time to get this field line. It's not a small field. I think this is possibly the biggest field that we have that's available, is it? No, 32 is. Okay. Well, you know, it's getting done. It is going to take some time. This is a mammoth task. And, you know, I can't wait to, until we've got enough manure. Then we can just go around and buy the, um, what's it called, the, uh, is it the Terrigator? We can get that beast to bring that into the farm. You know, it'd be nice to have that, but we don't really have enough cows to get the manure produced to keep that thing going to warrant having it. But, uh, you know, it's something we can look forward to do now have a, a spreader, which I'm really happy about. I've never heard of this group that make this, um, or company, should I say, or manufacturer. Right, let's get turned. So getting lime on this field. Improve the yield of my field with a spread of lime. Beautiful. Uh, to get this like little edge here, you know, and then all, all that's left is the big area near the farm. Come on. There we go. Don't seem to be out. There we are. Right, let's go get it filled back up, see how much it'll cost. Oh, I've missed a piece there as well, just in front of me. I'm going to have to go over that. You know, I'm one of these. Um, these gamers that, you know, if you, uh, you know, you got to do it properly, you can't half ass it. <laughs> Alright, so, Lime, I'm trying to remember where the Lime station is. I think it's where I've parked the bale trailer that we have. Of course, I have brought the JCB and uh, the semi and the trailer back. See it just in the background over there, the red one. I really can't wait to sell some milk as well, that'd be nice. Bring in some extra revenue from that. Lime station, lime station. I think it's behind there. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I think it is behind here. I don't know how much it's going to cost. It's probably going to cost a lot of money. So let's. I'm glad we only have to do lime after every three harvests. Oh, that's expensive. Could have got a rubber lime from the farm, uh, from the store, really. Gone over there and put it in the van. If I thought about it, I could have done that. Could have saved us um, the money. Cause we do have a little bit of lime left over there. Also have the fertilizer. Need to bring that over as well. Yeah, so we've got to crack on with this, then we've got to get the field over there. Get over there. Over there. Don't drive on my crops. There we go. Then we've got to get field. Come on, come on. There we go. Then we have to get over to field 29 and get that done. I'm just looking. Is there any with uh, the corn? We only have 80... 80-odd 80 thousand? 86. And I can't really see any smaller ones in our price range with corn already in. Plus, also, if we're looking at pigs, we're going to have to be looking at... Uh, root crops as well, potatoes or beets. And that's going to be hella expensive. But, you know, is what it is. 
but I do want to get some pigs. I, I, I do hate doing pigs. I really do. I absolutely hate doing pigs on this game. Because honestly, I really don't see them as being profitable. The amount of time and crops that it takes to get pigs up and running. Do you really think it is worth it with pigs? Yeah, but we're doing this. I want to do pigs. I oh, often oh, well, don't do pigs. And you know, more often than not, I don't do horses. Because if you have a lot of horses, you have, you're spending nearly enough, near enough all your time taking them out. It would be nice if we did have uh, the, the horse helper mod like they have on PC. That would be nice. Just to uh, have that, get that done. Just let them uh, take them out. All we have to worry about is feeding them. Also, uh, they have on PC, they have like a... Is it like a pump that pumps water into uh, the water trough? Now I'd like that as well, that'd be really nice and handy to have, uh, rather than having to constantly keep, keep going over there with water, but, you know, it's part of farming really, isn't it? Do you want to farm traditionally, or do you want to have everything done for you, basically? And, you know, having everything done for you, you know, is it nice? Of course it is. Who wouldn't want everything done for them automatically? But you know, the farming experience. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on with this field. I'm going to get this field pretty much near enough done and as soon as I've got that I will see you over at the edge of this field wherever we've finished and uh, we'll get cracking on our other field getting lime put on it which is field 29. So, see you in a bit. Okay, well, what is that field done? Now to head over to 29 and get a good uh, lot of uh, lime over on that field. Definitely need doing. So let's head on over there and uh, get that spread. Really didn't use that much lime. Which uh, kind of surprises me, really, considering how big that field was. It uh, definitely did surprise me just how little we used. Uh, did take a, a fair few fills. How's that grass doing over here? Okay, so it's not looking too bad, starting to grow again, which is nice to see. This grass is looking beautiful. Um, possibly when we're finished with lime, we could get a fertilizer stage on it. If it needs it, that is. Right, so, as you can see, look, 42 has now been done. There are just the odd little spots and uh, the outer rim, but, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing really I can do about that. Um, 34 definitely does need a good uh, going over with lime, but uh, I think we might get a cut of grass on that and then turn that into an arable. I don't know. Or we could turn this into a big grass field. Um, you know what? I really don't know, but or we could uh, put corn in here. Or we could put corn in 29. I don't know. But as you can see, 29 does need lime, so that's where we're heading, and that's what we're going to get done. And as you can see, I am now driving down the side where I'm supposed to be going. Put the lights on so I can see. Uh, it's a bit dark down here. Let's go Ooh, over the grass, bumpier than I thought. Put the lights on so I can see the edge. Alright, so, let's get started. Let's get the lime put in this field. This field really shouldn't take too long to get done. You know, it is a pretty widespread um, lime application that we are putting down. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to have to do this for another three harvests. Which is uh, always a good thing. I don't want to be buying lime every five seconds, you know. 
It's not exactly the cheapest thing in the world. And I'll just turn my lights off. Tell you what though, the the the, the uh, countryside around here. It's absolutely stunning. I wonder where that one leads. I don't know where that leads. But doesn't matter. What where my job is is to get this field flipped and turned over as quickly as possible. I do want another crop in this field as quickly as I can uh, get it done. You know, uh, I'm looking at getting corn in this field, but you know, this field is going to need a plow, and uh, I don't think we own a plow. Uh, we could look at possibly getting a subsoiler. Uh, something that, you know, gives the ploughed, um, gives the effect of a plough. It, it, it does the ploughing, but, um, I don't know. Should we just go for a normal plough, do it realistically like I want to? I am thinking, realistic makes more sense, you know, I want to do this as realistic as possible, you know, I'm not going to go out there and do something that you you, you couldn't really do. But, uh, yes. Actually, this field is actually bigger than I thought, so... It will take some time to get this one done, but I'm going to get it done. Beautiful. Then I think in the next episode we will start off, we'll buy a plough, uh, look at that, and uh, get these four ploughs, really need to look at, also getting in line on our other fields, need to get them harvested as well, uh, but we'll get to use our, our new capella on one of our John Deere's, which is always nice. I want to stand behind that and having all that uh, lime in your mouth. Say, I believe you can. You can. You also use chalk as well. I believe. I think you can use chalk as well as lime. I wouldn't quote me on it. You know, I, I'm saying these things because I think local farmers around my area use chalk. I don't. You know what? I, I'm no farmer by any means, but. Uh, you know, we do get a lot of tractors, we do get a lot of uh, potatoes around here, around my area. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I will get this field done. And, uh, you know what, we might, after I've got this field done, look at getting a plow. And then in the next episode, we will be plowing the lime in. Uh, what I might do is I might get those other fields harvested, get those limed. Whilst we've got it here, you know, we might as well use the fact that we've uh, got lime already in it. So I'm going to have to wash it out. So, uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll get this finished, and I'll see you when we've got that done. We'll be over at the store, and we'll have a look at Blouse. Okay, so this is the last little bit. I am hoping that uh, I have enough lime. I don't want to really buy any more. So, uh, 517. Come on, please. Say there's enough. Yes, there is. Okay. So that is that done. There's only 381 uh, litres left. So, you know, I'll just flick that over here. There we go, let's just get that out of the way. I want this to be empty. There we are. Nice and empty. So let's head back. That feels nice and done. Um, 42 is done. I am thinking about possibly harvesting the other fields, getting them done. Um, but I don't know yet though. Or we could just harvest them whenever and then get the line done whenever. 
Because we know all of my fields need lime. They always do. Alright, get this back. Back through here. Cows look like they're doing alright. There we are. Alright, so... Cows are doing... look a lot of they're doing fine, so... I want to just go that side. Out my way. Alright, so that's there, ready to be washed whenever. Now, let's look at plows. Actually, let's first look at our horsepower. Uh, 290, 240. Okay, so 290, 240. Oh, that's 300. Uh, that's not bad for 5.3 meters. Um, 1.8. That's not bad at all. 4.5 meters. Oh, wow, 6 meters. Subsoiler. And you can create new fields with it. That might be a handy little thing. And it's six meters. That's not too bad. Um. Hmm. 4.5 or 6. I'm not really sure. Um, no, I think I'm going to go with a 6 metre subsoiler. And um, we'll have it in John Deere green. And John Deere, there we go. Main colour, John Deere green. There we are. Looking absolutely stunning. Does it have the John Deere yellow? Aha! There we go, now it's looking the part. So that is going to cost us $17,600. That isn't too bad. And we've got it in the John Deere green and yellow colours. So let's get that. And that leaves us with 64300 Not too shabby. So that is going to be it for this episode. Managed to get two fields done with a coating of lime managed to get 29 and also 42 i believe yeah there we go 42 has been limed but uh, as you can see our fields are ready to harvest 41 27 and uh, over here 21 is ready to harvest so uh, yeah in the next episode um gonna have to get those harvested and get those limed also need to start getting uh, the old subsoil on 42 and 29 and i am thinking corn 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 in 42 but if you do enjoy this episode as always hit that like button hit that subscribe doing those definitely helps this channel out and i hope you're having a fantastic day no matter where you are in the world and until then I will see you all very, very soon on the one and only Lone Oak Farm.